All right, so I was having this super annoying thing happen with the new DRL simulator, um, and it's pretty easy what it was. I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't think of it, but someone in the Slack chat uh, let me know of my being stupid, so you guys don't also have to be stupid. So um, I was having an issue where when I would launch DRL, um, it would default to a different controller, and... I would end up having, here we go, skip through some of this. Um, I'd end up having no control, even though I selected the Tyrannus as my preferred uh, joystick device. And I'll, I'll show you real quick how to deal with that. Um, it's very, very simple. All right, so you'll notice here it says Unified Virtual HID. Um, and even if we go over here into the settings and I choose my controller, and I have my Tyrannus selected, it's still saying Unified Virtual HID. Now I can actually, what I was thinking I had to do was delete this, create a new one, and when I did that it would say Tyrannus down here and everything was fine. Really I'm just being dumb. Um, all we need to do is go ahead and exit out of here, and it is just a Windows setting. So I just hit the Windows key here and I'm going to type in Joystick, um, and it's set up USB game controllers. And you'll notice I have Unified Virtual HID and FR Sky Tyrannus joystick. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do advanced here, and I can select my preferred device. I want my preferred device to be the Tyrannus. Honestly, I'm not even sure what this what this device even is. Um, it may be I have a, an app called Joy to Key that I use to uh, attach one of my auxiliary switches on the Tyrannus to start and stop uh, races in another simulator, and I'll go over that later. Uh, but let's give that a try so we say it was okay there and launch DRL again. And here we are, FR Sky Tyrannus. Let's uh, just double check here because what was happening to me was I would go into a map and I would have absolutely no control over the vehicle, obviously, because it was listening to the wrong transmitter. And it was as if my throttle was right around 50% and it would just stay there and I had no control at all until I removed the device and uh, added a new one over in that settings menu there. No problem. I don't know if you guys have played the new DRL sim, but it is a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. And hopefully that will save you some frustration if uh, you were having some issues with the, the simulator. Have a good one!